In this lecture, we are going to implement the functionality of deleting an expense item from the UI in our expense tracker project. So let's go to VS Code. And here, whenever we are adding an expense item in the UI, with each expense item, whether it is debit or credit, you will see this cross button. So what we want is whenever this cross button is clicked, we want to delete that particular expense item from the UI. And if it is a debit, it will have some amount. That amount we will add to the available balance. And when a credit expense is deleted, in that case, we want to subtract that credit amount from the current balance. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. For that, first of all, the HTML which we are inserting, basically this template, there we have that button. On that button, we are going to bind on click event. And to this on click, we are going to assign a method and let's call it maybe delete expense. And to this one, we are going to pass the current ID of the expense object. So here in this expense item, we are storing an expense object. From that expense item, we are going to read the expense ID. So for that, I'm using the template literal syntax here. And there we will say expense item dot ID. So basically, whenever this delete expense will be called, we are passing the ID of the expense object, which we want to delete. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's create this delete expense function. So let me scroll down and let me create it at the bottom. And this function, it is going to take an ID parameter, which is going to be of type number. You can call this parameter anything, but the type will be number. Okay, and now what we want is, based on this ID, we want to find the expense object from this expense items list okay so in this expense items list we want to find that expense object whose id matches this id and to find that expense object on this expense items array we are going to call the find method so find method is going to return us an element from this expense items which satisfies a condition which we are going to pass for this find method so here we need to pass a callback function Okay, this callback function is going to receive the element for each iteration. So basically this find method is it is going to loop over this expense item and for each iteration it is going to pass the current element to this callback function. Let's simply call it as EL. And in here inside the body of this callback function we are going to write a condition and the condition should be this EL which is going to be an expense object if it's ID is equal to the id which we are going to receive here as the parameter we simply want to return what this will do is the first element from this expense item array which will satisfy this condition that will be returned by this find method okay so let's go ahead and let's store it in a variable so you can use let or const keyword let me use const keyword here and let me call it as exp the object name okay so whichever element in this expense items array matches this condition that element will be returned by this find method and we are storing it in this exp variable now using this exp variable we want to get the index of that element so we want to get the index of this object which this find method has returned in this expense items array so for that we are going to use expense items dot index of and to this we are going to pass this exp object and here we have this error because the type is not matching here so here what we will do is we will explicitly set the type as expense okay and here we have another error because this find method it will either return the expense object because we are using it on an array of expense type so it will either return this expense object or it might return undefined if no items in this array matches this condition so here we know that in this expense items the id which we are passing with that id we will have an expense item so here i will simply typecast this to expense okay 
and this index of here it is going to return us an integer value so let me go ahead and let me create a variable let me simply call it as index which is going to be of type number now this index of method it will either return minus one if no element in this expense items array will be found with this value with this object so in that case it will return minus one otherwise it will return the index of that particular expense object in this expense items array and once we have that index on this expense items on this array we are going to call a method called splice and here we will specify the starting index from where we want to remove the item so that will be this index number and we can specify how many items do we want to remove we simply want to remove one item and this should remove that item that expense object from this expense items array and finally we will again call this method display expense items which is going to loop over this expense items array again and it will only show those items which is still available in that array so with this let's save the changes and let's quickly test it let me refresh the page here let's go ahead and let's add two items And now let's test the delete functionality so let me go ahead and let me delete this groceries for that i'll click on this delete button and you see it has been deleted from the ui if i try to delete this salary credit expense for that i can click on this delete button you see that has also been deleted from the ui so the delete functionality is working as expected now once we have deleted a credit we want to subtract it from the available balance and if we have deleted a debit we want to add it to the current balance let's also add that functionality so for that i'm going to create a method let's call that method update balance and to this update balance method we are going to pass this expense object let's go ahead and let's create this update balance method so let me create it here let's specify a parameter let's call it expense which is going to be of type expense okay now what do we want to do from this expense object we want to get the amount so for that let's create a variable or i'll use let keyword here because we might want to update it so let me create a variable amount and we will read that amount from this expense object so it will be expense dot amount now if expense dot type if it is equal to credit okay so this should be expense so if it is equal to credit in that case we want to subtract the amount from the total balance so we have this total amount variable from that we are going to subtract this amount otherwise if it is debit so let's use else part in this case when the expense type is not credit that means we know that it is going to be debit in that case we want to add the debited amount back to the current balance so for that we will say total amount plus amount and after modifying the total amount let's also call show total method okay with this let's save the changes again let's add two expenses okay so here i have added four expense objects now the current balance is 10060 now let's try to delete this movie ticket and when we delete this movie ticket since it is a debit this amount should be added back to the available balance because let's say by mistake we have added this expense but it is not actually an expense we have not spent any money on this movie ticket so that means whatever amount has been deducted from the current balance that should be added back to that balance right that's why when we are going to delete a debit expense item it should add the balance back to the available balance and whenever we have added a credit amount and if that credit has not actually happened in that case that credit should be subtracted from the available balance let's see if that is happening or not so when i delete this expense item it should add 150 dollars to this available balance if i delete it 
it has not added that here but that item has been deleted from here let's try to log this expense object and let's see what we are getting for this okay let me open developer console let's go to console so the expense has been added now when i click on this it is logging the expense object so this function is getting called but for some reason this total amount it is not changing that's because here we are simply calling this expression but we have not assigned it back to total amount and that is the problem here so here i will use minus equal to and here i will use plus equal to so you see what a small mistake we did here and because of that we were not seeing the actual result but yeah these kind of mistakes we make as a developer anyway i have fixed this one so now it should be working so let's create this expense so current balance is 10000 if i delete this one it should change back to zero let's add a debit so the current balance is minus 234 if i delete this again it is changing back to zero so now everything is working as expected and in this way we are also able to delete an expense item which we might have added by mistake and we are also updating the available balance whenever an expense item is deleted so using this simple project we have practiced the typescript concepts which we have learned so far in this typescript course and this is all the functionality which i wanted to cover for this simple project which i have called track it if you want to add more functionality you can add it from your end you can also display the details of each expense or you can allow users to update the existing expense or something like that so you can add more functionality to this project and rest of the things you can practice by yourself so this is all from this lecture and from this section if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day